avoid the quotient rule. Um, really is not as often as you can, but it's usually preferred to try to look for different avenues to identify, to um, evaluate the derivative. So obviously we did not go over these rules prior to this, but hopefully you guys um, were able to do the quotient rule for this, so therefore we can verify my answer. But again, I want you to look at this. We could also simplify this expression by rewriting this as 1 over sine of x minus cosine of x over sine of x. Correct? And then using our understanding of our trigonometric functions, this is cosecant of x. This is cotangent of x. If we're just going to go ahead and find the derivative now of this function, then all I need to use is my look at my um, tr uh, function rules to go ahead and identify the derivative. So the co derivative of cosecant of x is going to be uh, cosecant uh, or negative cosecant of x times the cotangent of x. And then that's going to be minus uh, derivative of cotangent of x, which is a negative cosecant squared of x. And there you go. By using the quotient rule, that should have been your answer. Which you would have got the exact same way, um, actually.